Hey guys, this is the Tuninator, and this is another Heroes 5 Tribes of the East high level duel match. So, uh, this is between Primus and Swobodny, and I believe, uh, I'm not quite sure, but I believe SK Primus is on the left here, and Swobodny is on the right as Fortress versus Stronghold. Uh, so, you can see Stronghold's got some, I believe, maybe a bit of forward deployment with tactics here. Looks like that might be a, kind of another square up. Uh, a uh, lot of alternate upgrades on the fortress side, but still the inevitable magma dragons, which are crazy strong in a uh, hand to hand combat. So, let's see if we can get a look at the heroes. So, nothing too crazy on uh, the rune mage, pretty solid stats all around. They've got very average stat gains, and not so much on the barbarian. Massive amounts of attack and defense, so. 19 and 15 against 6 and 6, so. Stronghold's got a considerable quality and advantage on the troops, but at the same time, uh, the Rune Mage has magic and uh, the inevitable runes to kind of bolster their forces. So without further ado, uh, let's get underway. A little flaming ballista. Kind of wearing down the only real Stronghold range unit. And they're going to hit every sec next to that Battle Range rune with the Chain Lightning Strikes. That is a very powerful opening attack right there. Oh, Bear Riders. Another Battle Rage Strike, so some pretty heavy casualties already. And a mass defense buff again, that'll help counteract the Barbarian. Strength advantage. Another Flaming Ballista. It looks like the replay ATV bar mirrors itself for any runes used, so that's what that's doing, if you're wondering. And the Hexen attack will kind of weaken those preservers a bit. Still quite a few. Shield guards are just kind of sitting there to protect the rune. And then those the rune patriarchs, yeah. Executioner's moving on on the magma dragons, but they're going to take a pretty big cap. Oh, and a lucky strike back. Still taking casualties from the magma shield, which is a very powerful ability. Oh, and a massive... Hey, this area up here has just been getting AoE like crazy. Looks like the Magma Dragons are probably going to go down, but uh... Oh! Uh, strike from the Spear Wielders. Oh! A lucky chain! Oh man, that is painful. That was a uh, Thunder Fan just been doing crazy amounts of damage. But... Oh my! Oh man, I don't know if that was a mistake on Primus' part or what, but... That is... Oh... Killing 11 of his own Wyverns, or Palkai. That is not good. Oh, and the mass confusion going down is going to be somewhat crippling for strongholds. I don't believe they have any way to dispel that, so... Uh, dark magic really, really hurts strongholds. The debuffs are so powerful and there's no way to get rid of them. Having your creatures killed is one thing, but having your entire army unable to retaliate is quite another, so... Uh, this is going to be very problematic for Primus, who already uh, kind of offed uh, most of his, one of his most powerful stacks by accident. And the resurrection on the White Bear Riders, but they are slow to the point where they will not be able to attack the Cyclops. Thunder Thanes, again with the Lucky Strikes, just doing crazy amounts of damage. Another spell coming out from the Rune Mage. Deep up the Cyclopses. If they can get down into this corner, or up to there as well, you can consider what they're They've just been killing their own troops like crazy. Executioners will probably be able to kill these Black Bear Riders unless they get feared. Nope, and they're dead. Shield Guard is just gonna sit there. They're ethereal right now. So they have the incorporeal ability, which is one of the most infuriating abilities in the entire game, so the only one trying to range them down will first to even be able to hit them. Magma Dragon just resurrected a few. I'm taking a lucky strike. This next unit is still taking damage from that though. Skirmishers are ethereal as well, and again, incorporeal is just such an irritating and just in my opinion, terribly thought out mechanic. Such a random mischance. Oh, and the Raiders resurrected as well. This is, uh... Oh, the Cyclops have had almost as many friendly kills as they've had enemies. It's been a pretty crazy. But the Centaur is bringing down the Thunder Thanes finally after all the damage they've done. Shield Guard's actually moving... Oh, and a lucky strike from the Shield Guards. Those executions are nearly dead. That's one of the power stacks, so... It's not good. The trap will slow down the Battle Rangers, so they may not be able to reach the target they're hoping for. But Cyclops is blood rage saving them from too many casualties with something in one flaming ballista. Three executioners are gonna move in on the patriarchs. Attack them. 
may have been better to better keep them from shooting, but they would have died anyways, so. Battle Ridge, the Dwarven army is just getting blood all over the place here. The firewall, so they're gonna have to move into the centaurs and take more damage than miss their shooting. And the trap stops the battle rangers so they can't reach the centaurs. Magma Oh, I'd like to trigger the cyclists, but they're probably. Yep, but then the Magma Shield takes off the cavalry. The yeah, Magma Dragons are incredibly powerful. They're in a with their huge HP reserve. Great stats in the Magma Shield. It's quite insane. Lucky Strike from the Goblins killing the Magma Dragons. That is not something I would have expected to see. Impressive. Still could go both ways. There's quite a few units from both sides left on the field. For another mass confusion or something the like could prove. Quite devastating. Patriot didn't reach the centaurs just sit opted to sit in the firewall instead of his internal shooter. Goblins oh didn't run in the firewall at least, but killing the battle ragers? His drunk will uh, still gonna be tied down by these shield guards though. The Cyclops are out of the equation. Lucky strike from uh, Warmongers, however. Battle ring. Spear wielders. Lucky strike in the Galvatron that I have died in a sec. Then, it's, it's the lane the cavalry for on that. Uh, apologies, does that sometimes. That was some 97 spear wielders died. I'm not sure how many goblins did that. Still wearing down the goblins. Or am I just gonna finish off the shield guards? They went down actually pretty quick. Oh, but a resurrection rune. Again, runes are so powerful they come on with the magic that uh, the fortress has in some ways. And the decay is just gonna kill those goblins real quickly. Their uh, cowardice enemies messes up the, uh, the cavities. Maybe for some reason. Battle cry again. Fortress here again and turn again, so this could prove quite devastating for Stronghold. Decay on the Centaur, so they're still gonna be getting AoE even though they burnt damage rather, even though they moved out of the firewall. Oh, and a battle rage. More uh, AoE, and yeah, the Centaur's just taking captives quickly. But another lucky streak, that's the second big stack they've killed so far. Nomads showing why the uh, no hand to hand penalty is uh, quite good. Or Marauders, rather. Sorry. But they're almost dead, and at this point, I'm thinking that Fortress is probably going to take it because they've still got quite a few level 5 units and uh, hero casting offensive magic. Oh, and yep, that should just about do it. Triple Ballista. Force magical abilities and just the rune especially have been very devastating. Goblins aren't really gonna be able to do too much. There go the warmongers, and that should be just about all she wrote as the spear wielders and rune patriarchs are gonna finish off the goblins real quickly. Yep. Rune of resurrection and sad insult to injury, I guess. Yeah, and finishing them off with the Ballista. Alright, so another very exciting game. You know, another very close one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and look forward to the, more in the near future. This is the Tuninator, and I'll see you all later.